Greetings to Dr. Hamima Binti Abdul Rahman. Okay, so uh, we will be uh, today we will be uh, giving a presentation uh, based on sustainable technology, the theme that we have chosen. Okay, so uh, the topic that we chose for this project would be aquaponics. So I will be giving a brief uh, introduction about our project. Aquaponics is a cooperation between plants and fish, and the term originates from the two words aquaculture and hydroponics of plants usually in a soilless environment. Aquaponics system come in various sizes from small indoor units to large commercial units and they can be either freshwater systems or contain salt or brackish water. In other words, according to the aquaponics gardening community cited by Thorarin Stottir, aquaponics is the cultivation of fish and plants together in a constructed recirculating ecosystem utilizing natural bacterial cycles to convert fish waste to plant nutrition. Okay, so the problems that we'll be facing in the project would be finding a perfect match between the needs such as pH, temperature, substrate of fish and plants. Daily management is needed which means the organization is crucial. In small scale household systems, while there may be uh, no requirement for continuous aeration, this may nonetheless be desirable to maintain optimal conditions in the fish tank especially if the grow bed is based on EBB and flow system and as a backup in case of pump failure or system blockage. Okay, so uh, meanwhile in larger scale aquaponic systems if the system is to be run at a high rate of product especially if a significant quantity of fish are to be produced highly efficient settling and separate biofilters will be required. Okay, so next the there's a table as a reference for strength and weaknesses of the aquaponic system. Okay, then uh, next I will be uh, giving a brief presentation about the objective. So uh, the first would be maintaining an appropriate balance between fish waste and vegetable nutrient demand while ensuring an adequate surface area to grow bacterial colony to convert all the fish waste. Okay, next, the more perfect these parameters are, the higher the system's productivity. Paying attention to, to these details can help prevent insects, diseases and other types of pollution. Okay, third, the main goal in aquaponic system is to create giant plant growth by using aquatic animal waste. And finally, it is to demonstrate the potential productivity, efficiency and associated costs. Okay, next. Uh, hello, my name is Mama Hafizazi. Uh, I will explain about materials. There are three main materials. First, material is plants. Plants help to keep the aquaponic system overall cycle running smoothly by filtering and oxygenating the water. Before we decide on that plant to grow in aquaponic system, there are some criteria to help us choose the right plants. Uh, first criteria is what type of system we are going to use, plant requirement, and lastly is environment. Second material is fish. Fish play an important role in aquaponic by as the excrement serve as a natural fertilizer for plants. There are some important things to consider when using the best fish for our aquaponic system. Uh, the criteria is temperature, pH range and dissolved oxygen. Lastly is bacteria. Bacteria function in aquaponic system is to convert the excrement of fish into nutrient that plant can absorb. Uh, fish produce ammonia as a spin of living. The majority of this ammonia is going without delay into water through the fish gills. The easy presence of this ammonia draws the nitrifying microorganism that like to eat ammonia and finally rework it into the nitrate flower swan. A mature aquaponic machine is richly biotic environment generating large crews. But a brand new machine can also additionally want to cycle, want to cycle for weeks earlier than, than the nitrifying microorganism are robust. Uh, that's only. Thank you. My name is Muhammad Faiz bin Abdul Ghadir. My metric number is CD210049. Processing and Manufacture. The process of aquaponic is firstly fish tank, then solid removal, biofilter, hydroponic setup and some. 
Redealing natural resources are forcing us to investigate more sustainable ways of living. Aquaponic is developing sustainable food production method coupling agriculture and horticulture together in one circular system mimicking nutri nutrient and water cycles in nature. The success of recycling aquaponic system relies on a healthy environment for both fish and plant by securing good irritation, a suitable pH in the system, efficient biological conversion of harmful ammonia to benefit nitrate and the plant uptake of dissolved nutrient. Plant util utilize nitrogen mostly as nitrate or ammonium but the total ammonium nitrogen in the fish waste consists of two forms, ammonia and ammonia. The living component of the aquaponic system drives the system design. Tilapia is one of the most popular fish species in agriculture and aquaponic. A market test was carried out in Iceland and fresh tilapia was, was very well received and could be sold at the same price as cold fillet in the Iceland market. This is some example of crop that can be done using aquaponic system and most of the production is vegetable and some of it are herbs. Hello, my name is Muhammad Azur Koyo bin Ali Budi. Uh, metric number is AD210104. So we, I will discuss the, about the connection of suitable material and processing. The aquaponic system design was developed in four separate stages. System was a small showcase system. Uh, system two and three was small scale greenhouse pilot system, while the system four was the large scale uh, experiment system. So we see a uh, figure A, B, C. Uh, in figure two, schematic represent of system one, two, three. Uh, once uh, system one and F and D system. System with the mechanical filter and by filter included in the pumice bed. Uh, system two and three uh, representative both DWC. System three has a larger volume of biofiltration and some of improved water quality and regulation of the water flow. By uh, infinity schematic represent of system four is used for testing different water flow right through the planting bed. Progress uh, through go in pay A, B, and C were 500, 160, and 40 liter per hour, representatively. Salate and Park Chai were in the system. Yeah. Uh, in 4.1, system 1, 2, and 3. Uh, was experiment food and drain type system uh, that was set up the Iceland Ocean Cluster house in Reykjavik, uh, the plumes uh, Iceland in the globe bed acted as a bomb mechanical and biological filtering, filtering as well as transport. The subsequent system 2 and 3 were both constructed inside the greenhouse and work op operational during June until December, September, allowing up to 22 hours of natural light during summertime. Both system use sedimentation basin as mechanical filter and moving bed bioreactor bio as as biofilter. Uh, in system four was built in, in an industrial building. The system one design was based on system three and improved from the earlier test system. Com comprised of the three sub successive uh, product phase. Which is the first trial one and trial two. The grow bed was set up as fresh with drifting flower 500, uh, six, 160, and 40 liter per hour. Mm. From the go <coughs> okay, uh, we go to productivity and yield. Uh, different plants were grown in system. In system one, various species are were tested, including fruiting vegetable. Uh, Lefty vegetable and salad are uh, also herbs. In system two and three, rocola, salad, and herbs, including best basil, coriander, and mint, were selected for growing in a greenhouse facility. 
all plants grown in winter seed. The fresh wheat of tilapia and pak choy produce were measured to calculate the mass balance of production of each trial. As biomass can use uh, included problem metabolism and health due to efficiency of mineral nutrition and update by the roads. Uh, we proceed to water quality management. <coughs> uh, Psycom, uh, psychochemical parameter were measured in system 2 until 4. Conductivity total uh, dissolved solid and pH were measured twice weekly using PSTS tester the 35 multi parameter device. The oxygen were monitored using the Kyber scan DO300 DO meter. Mm. <coughs> uh, multi test ammonia and multi test trisulfate uh, iron was uh, measured weekly with a hand painted colander. Iron was maintained at 3 mg per liter in all system by editing alcohol DTPA iron character as needed. We, uh, next, we go to water sam sampling and neutral analyze. <coughs> The water quality which is system for trial 1 and, tri and 2 was mentioned weekly. 2 ml sample were collected from 9 locations uh, every, every 7 days. For sampling for 1 or 2 sample were filtered within 6 hours of collection using uh, 0.45 micrometer cellulose accurate filter to remove any substance solid. And this soft fraction was used to analyze ammonia. Nitrate and nitrite and phosphate. <coughs> mm. <coughs> okay, the result is food plants are lively with vegetable, uh, vegetables vegetable crops all grow well in system one with salad and herbs easy to produce in clone of coponic loop. Possibly to the lower and more settle, uh, stable nutrient level the system provides. Salads and herbs are also less demanding in in terms of like quality and their length, compared to flower and fruit crops. <coughs> system 1 was an F and B system was limited solid removal. The functional will during the first 18 months after which water quality issue related to low pH become persistent and frequent and could not manage with alkali, alkali addition only. <coughs> this issue could only manage Militant by washing the media, the addition of uh, carefish and red worm increased the breakdown of quality in system 1. But this was not uh, sufficient to keep system in balance. Therefore, improved solid removal was included all substance system design. System 2 and 3 was constructed similarly and the addition was also made switch to DWC to easier, easier and more economical maintain water quality and clean of the growth beds. I go to the conclusion. Okay, so as the conclusion of our project, aquaponics is a selective concept which is especially appealing to those seeking to promote more sustainable food production systems. It involves the production of both fish and vegetables using a single nutrient force, fish feed, that ensures that most of the waste that will normally be released from intensive fish culture are instead used to grow vegetables. It is important to recognize However, that aquaponic systems are primarily vegetable production systems simply because of the biological nature of the relationship between fish nutrient production and plant nutrient uptake. Intensively grown fish produce a lot of nutrients, the consumption of which requires a large amount of plant production. This is particularly the case if part of the enterprise objective is to minimize solid waste disposal to the environment. In several of the more commercial systems operating at the present time, the fish are regarded as organic nutrient generators rather than as an important product in their own right. Thank you. <laughs>